Now around a week ago we were talking about the armory items, and specifically how the armory items were no longer really profitable for unboxing, but the way about the armory is it moves in waves, and right now we're looking at a 183% unboxing ROI for the elemental, 150% for the character craft stickers, and everything else we're going to be talking about for an investment purpose today. Talking about the armory first, obviously we have a lot of potential inside of this area. If we want to look at the breakdown, specifically I find a very strong investment potential with some of the blue stickers here. These are obviously going to be the most common, therefore they're probably going to have the lowest barrier to entry. Now, looking at our charms, it seemed like they've pretty much fallen off in terms of the overall interest inside this area. Obviously, the extremely rare patterns are still hooking people in, but the truth is about the charms, they're going to be very common. That's because charms are detachable. You can get them back off a weapon, and therefore, the supply of them is never theoretically going to go down, or at least go down much other than people actually getting banned. Our three weapon collections are definitely interesting, but overall, when we're talking about an investment purpose, I really don't see a strong opportunity inside of this area. The light blue skins are still rather expensive, and I definitely think you're going to be able to find some cheaper items elsewhere that are going to be having a much stronger opportunity than these ones specifically. And finally, that limited edition deagle is something that has been absolutely flooded to the overall market, which would be really good if it was any other item, but the limited edition deagle is one that definitely is going to have a very interesting path moving forward, and I don't necessarily know it's going to be the strongest opportunity cost for how much it actually is. SkinSwap just went ahead and dropped their biggest update ever. Not only are they sponsoring you with that top link in the description, but they're also introducing backpacks, allowing you to buy any item on the site, and it's going to be personally held for you. Their trading feature is often told to be the best in the business, offering near instant trades, taking under 30 seconds right now. And their selling feature is instant as well, offering PayPal, crypto, and tons of different options if you're looking to get your money this second. And finally, they've always got that 40% deposit bonus if you're looking to pick up some brand new skins, so try them out today, there's no reason not to. Now talking about my favorite area, which is going to be the case market, and I'll be completely honest in saying we've seen a lot better days than what we've seen over the past week. If we want to look at it, we've only seen about 4.8 million in box over the past week, with nearly 700,000 of those coming from the gallery case. Now, obviously, the gallery case is a little bit of a thing in its own. We're going to get to that in a quick second, but talking about these overall numbers, these are down pretty significantly from what we were seeing in the past, considering most of these cases unboxed are going to be active duty. Really didn't see too much for the rare case market. However, to go along with that, we also have seen some pretty consistent prices for the rare cases. Obviously, these are still being unboxed significantly more than they're being dropped, considering they're making up 1% of the drop pool, and obviously, there's a ton of cases in that 1%. They're nearly equal all across the board for all 40 of these options. Now, when this is being out there, I definitely think this is a very strong opportunity if you're looking to get into the rare case market. I definitely don't think they're going to be going down in price personally. I think they're probably going to stagnate for a while until they hit a peak of interest and then the prices are probably going to go up relatively quickly. Overall, obviously the case market isn't perfect right now because we're not seeing some massive growth, but also I think it's in a very sustainable position, which could be argued to be an even better opportunity because we're going to know exactly what's going to come for the future of this area. Now talking about everything to do with major investments, in a previous video we talked about how Copenhagen was absolutely exploding in price. And it's actually the very similar story now, but it's a little bit different. That's because in the previous video, we talked about the contender sticker capsule, how it was going up in price. It was really the only one. But now if you want to look at it, it's toned down a little bit. It's at 30 cents, which is still a profitable investment. But the autograph capsules are actually the ones going up in price now, looking at 42 cents for the Legends autograph. And honestly, this is a very interesting story. I'm not going to get too deep into it because overall autograph capsules are usually one of the worst investments you can make. Definitely interesting to see there though. Overall, the application numbers aren't really supporting the fact that Copenhagen should be on this very strong increasing trajectory. They're still being applied, but nothing absolutely crazy. If we want to talk about Antwerp and Stockholm, they're also seeing some pretty similar application rates to what they've seen in the past, which is not necessarily a bad thing, especially for Antwerp and Stockholm, a little bit more developed, a little bit more older capsule. They definitely have that advantage of if they can just continue on a constant rate, they're going to be in a much better position moving forward. And finally, everyone's favorite capsule, Paris, is starting to do a very, very small recovery in some areas. The Legends is up to 14 cents. Overall, we're seeing 12 cents for the Contenders and the Challengers. I definitely think this capsule has a very long path ahead of it for anything near important. Keep it on that same subject though, we've got the Shanghai Major just around the corner. Now obviously it's not going to be starting until December, but we don't even know who's qualified for it. And that's the big thing is there's a lot of money left on the table, specifically with one of those Copenhagen capsules, meaning that it has Lin Vision, it's got Koi, it's got a lot of other teams that may not qualify here. Specifically focusing in on Lin Vision, that's because the Asian RMR is just about a week and a half away. And this is a very big one. If you know the Oni Pixel Drillas, they are potentially going to be making the Major here along with Lin Vision. They're matching up in the first first round is going to be a very interesting battle, but overall, we've got all of the RMRs coming up in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be very interesting to see who actually is determined to be qualifying for the major. Now, it's extremely complex about where the profit's going to be specifically, but generally speaking, it comes down to the fact of teams that only have one borderless sticker are significantly more profitable in the long term as an investment, provided that there actually isn't an oversupply inside of that specific area. We saw it with Antwerp, how stickers were up about 500% versus on average 150% for stickers that had multiple alternate
alternatives out there. That's a very brief version of this, but basically there's a lot of profit to be made if there's only one borderless sticker. We don't know if Shanghai is going to be borderless, but odds are it's not impossible, especially when we look at the track record of how stickers have been looking. Now, one area I would highly suggest you avoid at this time is going to be the active duty cases. Now, if you want to look from the drop we saw about a month ago when the armory was released, active duty cases have honestly, in my opinion, exploded since then, which is crazy to think about. But honestly, overall, these cases are really volatile in the current moment. I don't think they're going to be a strong investment. And for the most part, they're probably not going to be seeing any actual growth, maybe slightly, but overall, you're hearing a lot of risk here for very little reward. Now, the last big question before we get into my investment, should you be buying some of the gallery cases? And honestly, this is a very complex question because we got to first look at the opportunity cost. You're going to be looking at roughly 80 cents to a dollar, depending on what price point you're going to be buying at for a gallery case. That's extremely expensive for a case investment in the current market, but it's also theoretically going to be a discontinued cases. Basically, you're betting on the fact that it's going to be removed from the armory. If you think that's a possibility, you can definitely invest into it. The other good thing about this is theoretically, it's probably not going to be falling much lower than about 80 to 85 cents, but there's no guarantees inside of this area. Now, the first investment I'm actually going to be making is into the gallery case, which we just mentioned, and there's a couple big reasons about it. First, if we want to look at the price point, we're currently sitting at about an 86 to 84 cent price point. If you want to look at it inside of the US, it costs you 80 cents plus the time to go ahead and grind out one of these cases. Steam Assets tells us we can get a little bit cheaper in some other countries, but honestly, not by too much. Therefore, I definitely don't think we're going to be seeing these prices fall much, much lower than what they're currently sitting at. I think this is a great long term hold, theoretically, if it does get removed from the game, and that's a risk I'm willing to take based off everything we've seen about the current market. The second thing is going to be some investments into some stickers. We mentioned earlier, but honestly, the Armory stickers are riddled with opportunity inside of this area. I think there's so much potential for some of these stickers. I don't know specifically just which ones I'm going to be investing into just yet, but honestly, I think throwing about $15, $20 into these stickers, maybe not this exact second, but in the near future, is going to be a very strong opportunity. A lot of these stickers, honestly, are really good for crafting, and I think they've got a very strong potential moving forward. And honestly, if you get them at a cheap enough price point, it's really hard to lose, depending on obviously if they're discontinued or not, which is once again that argument we just made for the gallery case. Now, honestly, when we're talking about the case market, nothing has really been changing too much except for one case. That's the snake bite. It's absolutely exploded over the past couple of weeks, and that's why we're going to be making an investment into the clutch case. Now, the clutch case is the second cheapest rare case out about 50 cents, but it's very similar in terms of the snake bite being the only thing hollowing it back is the fact that it's got a large supply. If we're seeing the snake bite do this, I definitely think the clutch case is on a very strong potential to follow it in near future. Honestly, it's not going to be a short term play. This is definitely a long term hold by every standard, but I definitely don't think it's a bad play, especially considering it's a rare case at the end of the day. And the last investment for the remaining money we're going to be doing is actually nothing. We're going to be setting it aside, and I honestly don't think this is a play we do enough inside of the series. Obviously, the goal is to buy now and what's the best things to buy right now, but honestly, sometimes the market is just not in the perfect opportunity to buy, and I don't think, honestly, across the board, it's exactly where I want to be sitting at. I like holding on. I like getting more information. That's exactly what we're doing with this play. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It'll be a great rest of your day.